They marched, they chanted, and they expressed their concerns. What do we want? Climate action! Young want? activists around the world took the streets to demand an action on climate change. One of the biggest marches was held in New York, where heads of states of about 200 countries are convening at United Nations General Assembly this week. Before that, teen activist Greta Thunberg kicked off the first ever youth climate summit at United Nations. We are united and that we, young people, are unstoppable. Youth around the globe not only marched on the streets for climate, but also brought their ideas and solutions to share with the world leaders here at the United Nations. Seventeen-year-old Amanda Rodriguez de Carvalho grew up in a self-regulating closed ecosystem in Sao Paulo, Brazil. And she presented this as a nature-based solution for climate change. And just if we leave the forests and don't destroy them, we already have so many benefits, and if we work to preserve them and to restore the forest, you will have so much more. The deforestation is one of the biggest problems. Al Haji Ahmad Siraj Ba of Sierra Leone has a business which makes eco friendly briquettes and paper bags for daily use. I've been able to save more than 10,000 to 20,000 trees. And Kuchi Bai from China showed us bags and t shirts made from used plastic bottles. One With all these ideas, young people here also had a message for the world leaders who will attend a UN Climate Action Summit. You are the future. future. Period. Period. Two words, act now. There is literally no more time to think about it. We have the facts, we have the science, we have the plans, we have the solutions. It's just time to make the decisions and act now. We don't want to be inspiring, we don't want to be strong, we only want action. You are risking my life and I will not stand for it. I demand action from our government leaders. A UN report to be released this week is expected to conclude that global warming and pollution are devastating oceans and polar regions. The Trump administration has cast doubt on a broad scientific consensus that the earth is warming and human activity is mostly to blame. Sakibul Islam, VOA News, New York.